Hey there guys, this is Laz with Watch Life. I know it's been a while since my last review and for that I do want to apologize in advance. Uh, but today we have a watch on the channel that I'm pretty excited to review and that is the Timex Waterbury TW2R7800. I know it's a bit of a mouthful for a reference number but uh, there you have it. See if I can get that to focus. Uh, give you guys an idea of what this watch looks like and we'll get you some closer uh, shots of it. Um, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed by this watch and the um, the value that's uh, put forth here by uh, Timex. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, here we have the Timex Waterbury TW2R7800. Uh, that is the reference number on this timepiece. Um, I gotta say I'm very impressed with what with what Timex has brought forth here. A lot of value for your money. Um, so we'll go ahead and just jump right into the specs and we'll get that out of the way and then we'll we'll cover um, my thoughts on this watch and what do I think about it. So here we go. This has, for the movement, it has a obviously one of those Japanese quartz movements um, that Timex tends to put in their watches. I, I would very much like to start seeing Timex make some of those old movements they used to back in the days and, and smack them into some of their like Waterbury lineup watches and things of that nature. Uh, as for the crystal, you have a mineral crystal. The strap that's on this watch, it is a leather uh, strap with a pin buckle. It is a 22 millimeter strap um, and this is a Waterbury branded strap. As for the case, you have a 42 millimeter case with a thickness of 12 millimeters. That's from the back of the case to the top of this mineral crystal here. Uh, case materials, this is obviously going to be a stainless steel. It's not one of those, um, uh, what do you call it? Those, I don't know, they're kind of like brass. Uh, they're brass cases that are typically like nickel plated, um, but this is not. This is actually a stainless steel case. Uh, it is water resistant up to 50 meters. Uh, take that with a grain of salt. Um, as you guys know, this this is a very inexpensive watch. Um, uh, yes, it is a Timex and it is, you know, the watch that takes a look in and keeps on ticking. But I don't think you can really guarantee this going for a swim, to be quite frank with you. In terms of the functions on this watch, it, it obviously for the complications has a date. Uh, this is a chronograph stopwatch. Um, it has Indiglo. If any of you are familiar with that feature, I never use it. I think it's, uh, to be quite frank with you, it's a little uh, lame, but whatever. I digress. Um, I'll jump into the, the some of the aesthetics of this watch that I really admire, one of which being this beautiful dial. I must say for a watch that's $85, I think Timex did a fantastic job here. Um, I love the way these these um, the the chronograph is set up here. Not a big fan of the date placed at the four o'clock. I've never been a fan of that. Um, I would actually rather it at the three o'clock or at the six o'clock. Um, and if it and if not, just not at all. Um, in terms of this chronograph hand, I do like the fact that it tends to hit pretty accurately in each marker for the most part. In some occasions, it kind of is a tad bit off, but for the most part, it does a really good job for an inexpensive chronograph. Um, I do love the print on this dial. I think they did a really good job. It seems uh, of high quality. Um, I don't mind the Waterbury logo at the bottom since 1884. I think that's a, a, a nice touch on their part. I do not like, though, where their second hand is at here. Um, and it seems to me that they went with that design because of the Waterbury logo. I would have preferred to have seen the second hand in a, uh, a circular um, pattern here or, or, cir or a circle here with the indices inside that circle um, because it does make it a little bit hard to, to figure out what's going on here, to be quite frank with you. In fact, the first time I got this watch, it took me a couple of days before I realized that the second hand was this. Um, and then I was like, okay, maybe I got a bad watch because I'm not noticing these, these indices or these hands here moving and it doesn't have anything that identifies these, these complications as what is what, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that threw me off at first. And then finally, I just suddenly glanced at the bottom and realized, holy crap, there's the second hand. So I think that aesthetically speaking, that wasn't the best idea for a second hand. 
I think um, they could have done a better job at identifying that as the seconds. Um, but nonetheless, um, again, very happy with the with the dial on this watch. It looks very nice, has a nice color to it or a nice. Um, how do I explain it? a nice uh, I wouldn't say color because it's more it's in person. Although this kind of looks a little bit cream, um, it may even give off a greenish hue to it. And that is true to the camera but in person it looks a little more gray than it does anything else um i think i would have rather a nice um like beige or very very light cream color to this dial uh, moving on to the case i think timex did a fantastic job here with this polish as you can see it is a mirror polish um not bad at all for a watch at under 100 bucks um uh, as you see here too, the with the strap, and they tend to do this a lot with the when they provide straps with their watches. They give you the quick release tabs, and I am a big fan of that. It just makes it so much easier to swap out your your straps. So uh, great job there, Timex. Uh, let's go ahead and put this back on here. On the back of the strap here, you'll make out the uh, you'll make out the Timex logo and the Waterbury logo. So you have the Waterbury since 1854, and I do apologize for my ice maker in the background. Um, here you have. I'm assuming this is the company that tans the leather. Um, so yeah, it must have been a collaboration between the two companies, and that's why their name is back there. This back plate here or this um back case i am a big fan of this this looks really really good and it really screams premium i'm not saying this is a high-end watch but this really does show that timex took their time with this watch you have the timex logo right up here with the water buried down the center uh, or in the center and then here you have of course your model number and and a little bit of the specs on the outer uh on the outer edge of that circle. Uh, so for that, I gotta say Timex, well done. In terms of the crown, this is a push-pull crown. That is not a screw-down crown, so keep that in mind. Uh, when talking about the water resistance of this watch, that is uh, probably gonna be the first area to fail, if any areas are going to fail in terms of the water resistance. I don't recommend taking this swimming. You have your pushers here for the chronographs to activate and reset that chronograph. They did a very good job there. The only thing I don't like is there is no click to this. This is just a mush when you push down. Like it is, it's fairly mushy. Yeah, that is not satisfying at all. Um, so yeah, I think Timex could have done a better job with that. Giving that a nice little click would have made it feel a little more premium. Um, but overall, a very, very, very nice watch, well executed on Timex's part. And again, for $85, you cannot beat this. Um, for, you know, in terms of who this was designed for and, and um, who would I recommend this to, I'm going to be quite frank. Me, as someone who has been a watch enthusiast for a little bit, I'm not too savvy in terms of specs when it comes to watches i try to do a little bit of, of of research before i buy and whenever i do these reviews i try to make sure that they're coming from a place of um of a consumer more than it is coming from a place of a watch reviewer if that makes sense because i have noticed sometimes when you do it from a watch reviewer standpoint you can sometimes come off as snobby even when you're not trying to be it's just the uh, the nature of uh, of these reviews but um, I would say Timex designed this watch as a great um, entry level chronograph, um, casual collector, uh, someone who's potentially looking to get into watches and is not sure if they like the hobby yet and they don't want to get too invested. This is a great lineup um, and a great brand to start off with Timex. They're going to make great watches got a, a, an, a an amazing history behind it um yeah you know the the list goes on and is it going to last you absolutely that is one thing i can say about timex they are made to take a lick and these things are tanks um and i don't just mean it by the thickness of this watch this is thick but 
<laughs> it is still a nice watch. It sits nice on the wrist. Let me let me go ahead and put this on the wrist. Give you guys a uh, point of view from the wrist. If I don't drop the watch. Wow, I've never struggled this much to put a watch on. Well, I'm trying to mend the camera too. <laughs> uh, so actually one thing I do like about this strap, guys, and I'll point this out real quick, but this helps when making your next selection of, uh, of the strap. So if you're trying to buy another strap that you want to put on this watch, this gives you an idea of the size of your wrist. If you take a look there, it has the sizing on the strap. That's a pretty nice touch. Anyways, there you have it. Uh, this is a little bit unorthodox. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to flip myself here just trying to show you this watch. Um, there you have it. There's a, a, a view of it on the wrist. Um, I have pretty significant size wrist. So, uh, but I do like the way this watch looks on my wrist. And then if you wanted to slide that underneath the cuff, you can. Uh, it's a little bulky, but you can. Um, if you're one to wear uh, shirts, long sleeve shirts that have tighter cuffs, then maybe not. Um, this is probably not going to be the watch. I would probably, in that case, if you're if you're one to wear um, a lot of long sleeve shirts uh, due to the line of work you're in, then I would probably recommend something like the. Um, God, I cannot remember the name of that watch now. Uh, but Timex does have another watch that is a dress watch. It's going to come to me, I promise. And then once it does, I'll, I'll 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 make sure to mention it. But there you have it, guys. This is the Timex Waterbury TW2R70800. That is the model number, the reference number. If you are interested in picking this watch up, you might still be able to find it on Amazon. I have I did purchase this watch a little bit over a year ago and it's now that I'm coming around to doing a review on it so i don't know if it's still available um if it is i'll put it in the link in the i'll put it in a link in the description below uh, if you are interested in purchasing it i did buy it originally on amazon's website on amazon's website through the timex um amazon store so uh yeah there you have it guys i want to thank you for your time i want to thank you guys for tuning in to another video from watch life um, hopefully I was able to, I don't know, bring another watch to your attention that you hadn't heard of before. And, uh, and maybe this is one that will make its way into your collection until the next one, guys have a good one.